Hey guys, thanks again for clicking on this video. We're about to go through a very basic beginner ab workout. It's going to consist of four exercises and we're going to go through it for two rounds. All right, so thanks again for joining us and let's get started. So the first exercise is going to target the upper abs. We're going to lay flat on the ground. Make sure the lower back stays pressed into the floor. Once you get here, bring the hands straight up and now the shoulders. And then we're just going to raise up towards the ceiling. You're just trying to get your shoulders up. And as you raise up, you're going to squeeze the abs. Very basic exercise, just raise the shoulders as high as you can. Control the breathing as well. Again, you're trying to raise straight up and not so much forward. All right, we're going up. Just getting the shoulders off the floor. All right, now we're gonna switch it over and we're gonna hit the low plank hold. So I'm gonna give you two options there. You can either do the low plank from your toes, shoulders here over the elbows, right? Or if this is too hard for you, you can drop down to the knees. Most important thing is that you keep the belly buttons tucked into the spine. Alright, so we're going to do it from the toes or the knees. Try not to be sinking low like this and try not to be too high. We're going to find that perfect line. Alright, then we're just going to hold this position here, control the breathing. If you're doing this from um, the toes right now and you feel like you need to stop, you're going to fall. Drop to the knees first and see if you can finish off the ground. Okay, don't just completely give up. Alright, let's go. Again, make sure the body isn't hanging forward. It's straight, muscles engaged. Almost done. And release. Now we're going to flip it over again and we're going to do an exercise that targets the lower abs. So, again, same position we were in before. All you're going to do now is bring the legs up, press the lower back into the floor. And you can extend out, tap the heels, and bring it back. That's Round three. Tap, and bring it back. Tap. We are straightening the legs completely. You're going to slide bend the knees. Remember, you want to make sure you're pressing the lower back into the floor. Your hands should not be able to go under you. And now we're going to actually go back into another plank. This time we're going to do the high plank. So, again, this is a beginner workout, so I don't expect you to be able to hold it from your toes for the full round. If you can, no problem. Main thing is that you make sure your shoulder stays over your hand. And if you're doing it from the toes, you're going to be here. If you're not doing it from the toes, you're going to drop the knee down and hold the position high. All right, again, the belly is going to sink down. Happy to pull yourself up. Make sure your core muscles are engaged. Not too high like this, not too low. You're right in the middle, shoulders stay with the hands. Sometimes you may want to try going up to the toes, see how long you can hold it here for. Then that head up, maybe you can do the break, come back down, and give yourself a bit of a rest right here. Alright, you're almost done. Let's finish up on the toes if you can. Alright, so that was wrong. One very simple stuff. But I got a feeling some people are going to be angry about those plants. <laughs> but let's go back to the first exercise. We're going to raise the shoulders up off the floor. Starting back in five. Down five. And down. Again, we're going to take that control, come up speed, bring it back down.
and time. All right, that's the last time in the planks. So the last time in the low plank, you're gonna switch it over, it's a low plank, and the forearms are gonna be down. And you can do this from the knees or from the toes, as long as you keep your, your back straight and sink it in. All right, I'm gonna start on the toes. Let's go. Six. Again, I'm trying not to hold your hands and knees. Sit up a bit easier. So keep it open, flat on the floor. Shoulder stays over the elbow, but not too high or too low. Right in the center. If you have a mirror, you can check yourself in the mirror. And if you need to do this from the knees, you're going to drop right here and hold it. Right, same thing. Still not sinking down. Still not too high up. All right, just to keep it straight. Fully engaged. You got about 10 seconds left. Let's finish up on the tools if you can. We'll go in and out. And time. You're gonna flip it over. Hit that all uh, lower ab exercise. You're gonna start back in 10 seconds. Five seconds again, so we're here. Just extending, pressing the lower back into the floor. Exercise the final round, we're gonna go back into the high plank four. Alright, just get your mind ready. This is more mental than anything else. Make sure your shoulders stay over your hands. Alright, you're doing this from the toes or from the knees. Get set up here, stretch yourself out, and then drop the knees to make sure you're properly aligned and you're not too far back or anything. So, again, right here. Alright, you full control. If you want to go up and down, maybe hold for three or five seconds. And then this is your rest here. You can do that as well. Almost done. Into the last five seconds. Keep the shoulders over the hands. Three, two, and one. And that's time guys. Like I said, it's very basic stuff. Um, did a lower ab exercise, upper ab, and then a straight four four to strengthen the core, strengthen those stabilizer muscles. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please share this with those who may benefit from it, guys. Thanks again and look forward to some more videos coming very soon.